Y'all heard that? I'm a G. I tried to tell them I'm a gangster. Like, hey y'all. I heard blondes have more fun. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoo! Back up on my bullshit. Back up on the scene. Done dealing with you. Don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you. Don't know how to what it do baby boo it's your girl sitting in the city and as you can see i'm literally in the city right now sorry if i'm rushing out of breath but we are doing a baddie on a budget maintenance vlog so we're on our way to get my wax done and then i need to go to sephora and i need to go to the grocery store but i'm currently waiting for the bus because you're all i don't have a car yet but we're working on that that is a goal for my 2021 goals but yeah i currently have on my teddy coat and my um brown matching set with my new nike pixel um air forces and my nude sunglasses so i'm giving a fake monochromatic look today but um yeah i'm just sitting here the bus should be coming soon i'm a little out of breath because i was running to get here well fast walking but yeah we're doing a maintenance vlog so this week you will see me get my my hair done my nails done my wax done well i'm not showing you my lady parts but you'll be there in in, in in the experience and i'm also gonna wax my own underarms at home so just take you on my little baddie on a budget week preparing for my girls trip but i think the bus is coming so about to hop on there and go down the street and see what this studio spa is about So guys, it's your girl Sid, and I'm here at Studio Chic. Am I saying that right? Yes. Okay. So I've passed this place a lot, and I never knew all the services that they offer. And I saw them on Instagram, and I was like, oh, they're by my house. Cool. So I'm here with my girl. I don't want to say your name wrong. So Tyra. Tyra. Okay, because I called her Tara, because I had, you guys know my friend Tara. Okay, so I'm with Tyra. She's super cool. She's also a fellow consumer of YouTube, so we're happy to you know include her in today's maintenance vlog but i was telling her I was like just please don't judge me it's been a while since i have been waxed and oh god i know it's gonna hurt but we gotta do it y'all we have to do it because i don't like shaving and i've been waxing for over almost three years now so it's just like you can't go back to that that shaving life it's just not for me so I'm glad to be here. This is a black owned place. Everyone here is really nice. All the service, everybody downstairs was just so friendly. So I'm just about to be my new place because I told y'all European Wax Center was raising their prices on people and thought we wasn't about to notice. Like what? Nah, that's not happening. And the music that they have up here is such spa music, which I love because it's just so relaxing. She's putting the wax on now, guys. I'm I don't know if you guys have ever been waxed, but like it's like a bittersweet type of experience. Like the results are always better than the actual experience, but I can't stop getting waxed. Like I'm never gonna go back to shaving unless it's like a dire emergency. But yeah, we gonna let's let y'all watch my facial expressions. Cause I'm definitely not about to film. Uh oh, she about to rip it, y'all. <laughs> trick this lady told me she was like hold your butt cheeks <laughs> and then let it go <laughs> it, it kind of helps though like I, I when it's like like this the side she just did the bikini the bikini's not that bad it's when they get in the middle that's like oh gosh so. Y'all heard that? I'm a G. I try to tell them I'm a gangster. Like, I take pain pretty well. It, it hurts, but it's like beauty is pain. What Beyonce say? Pretty hurts. Pretty hurts. But you just gotta get through it so you can get the results that you want. Brand 
drops. Drop top, drop top, smoking no cook in the hot box. Cooking on your bitch, she a dot dot dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. You came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grip the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get drank. Call me a ripper, give you a get cool. I take your bitch right from you. you. Bitch, I'm a dog. Be down her walls. Hey. Hop in the fall. Tell that bitch to come come for me. Come for me. I swear these niggas is under me. Hey. The hate and the devil keep jumping me. Jumping me. Can't rolls on me, keep me covered. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up the with a ooze. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up the with a ooze. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. All set. Okay, citizens, so Sephora was a fail. They didn't have not one of the travel size perfumes that I wanted. Um, the Rihanna one is sold out. The Gucci Guilty is sold out. The Rihanna lip gloss balm colors and the neutrals is sold out. So I'm walking right here to Zara. So as you can see, Zara have these boarded up windows. But we about to go in here because it is open. But I'm upset. So I'm just going to probably check to see if Zara has some good perfumes and and see what else they got in here, so. I don't know which bag to get, guys. Like, I really like this Sherpa bag with the brown lining and the gold accents, but I also don't think the season, like, I will be able to wear this a lot. But then I also really like this bag, this new two-handle bag, and I'll be able to wear this a lot more. So, what you think? Which one should I get? I don't know. Let's see. Let me call Lydia. All right, citizens. So, we finally left Zara. Yeah, I purchased some things. I'll do a mini uh, haul when I get home to show you what I got. I went in there for perfume. I left out with three items. Um, because <laughs> they're having a sale. I didn't know Zara was having a sale right now. So a lot, everything, literally everything in that store is on sale. So yeah, everything I bought was on sale. Cause we love a good sale. Cause we do what citizens? We balls on a budget. But um, yeah, they didn't have the perfume I wanted in Zara either. The lady tried to get me to buy another one, but it smelled like baby powder. And I don't want to smell like baby powder. I want to smell like a boss bitch, like a rich bitch, like what? We, we like to smell like money. That's why I wear designer perfumes because I like the way they smell. But Zara's perfumes do smell good. Like I told y'all before, like they smell really good. But I'm about to make my way to the grocery store real quick because my mother needs stuff for dinner. I'm sure she's wondering what's taking me so long to get back with her stuff because I don't think I told her I was going downtown to go shopping, so. Let me make my way to the grocery store and yeah. What it do? So I'm back. Um, your girl's home after getting her wax and going to Sephora and going to Zara and going to the grocery store. I'm back. It's finally good to be home to sit down like my feet hurt. One thing though, I do like about my Air Force Pixels. They have like a platform on them. So they're a little higher than the regular Air Force ones, but they're comfortable. I was walking, running errands, moving left and right all day. And like, they're actually very comfortable. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Um, I actually did go to Target yesterday. So I wanted to show you some of the stuff I got from Target and the stuff I got from Zara. So let's just get right into it. So we are traveling and I wanted to get myself like, um, I wanted to try this Olay body conditioner. Um, moist body moisturizer that you use in the shower so um one of my youtubers that i watched she recommended this and it was only like six dollars so i was like might as well try it so i'm gonna take this with me to houston because that's where i'm going for my girl's trip if i haven't mentioned it um i bought some travel makeup wipes one for me one for my friend tati because i know how she is i just wanted to give her her own because she's not about to use all mine up um i got me some clark slides because we are traveling in a penny so i got me some travel size clark slots i will have a travel size lysol and i will have a mask a shield all of that you guys will see me set up ready to go when i get to the airport um travel size toothpaste i have a new toothbrush i need to pull out of the closet i also bought two pairs of lashes so you guys have seen me talk about these lashes before. I got I get them from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, they're called Fabulash. And this time I got the 112. I think I had 112 before, so 112. 
super cute you know kind of zip thick and then these ones are thick and voluminous this is the 129 um style so these are the lashes i'll be wearing in houston which is really giving big boss baddie vibes so yes and they were on sale for three dollars you guys can see that they are normally I can't even see what the normal price is. They didn't cover it up, but $3 for two pairs of lashes. And these are nice lashes. They're easy to put on. I love them. So that's the stuff that, oh, what else did I get from Target? So I also bought, I forgot, I bought a multivite. Um, my mother said I need to start taking a multivitamin. So um, I used to take one and then I would try to find this one and they would be sold out. Like when Corona started, these were sold out everywhere. So I finally found some. They were like $10 at Target for this whole thing. Lasts me a long time. I also continuing with my vitamin C power C for immunity, um, immune support. So I'm still taking these. I was actually about to run out, so I'm glad I bought, I'm gonna start taking both of these cause it's still a panty, y'all. We still living in a panty, so y'all gotta be, you know, safe. And then uh, lastly, I bought um, a travel size native deodorant. So it's really small, super cute. I got the sugar cookie, sugar cookie flavor. I wanted to try an organic deodorant um, just because a lot of people have been raving about native and I think the regular size of this is $10. And um, you guys know I love spray on deodorant. I've been using the spray on Dove deodorant for a while. So I'm probably still going to take that with me to Houston. But I do want to try this one. Um, to try this one out. So yeah, we got the native deodorant. And it was $2.99 for that to try. I think this is like more like to me, not just travel size, but like sample size. Like to see if you want to try it before you buy it. Because everyone's not really into organic deodorants. And it's something new that they're like pushing. So yeah. I can't wait to try it. it smells really good so i can't wait to try it and then lastly i just bought me a tub of the organic cotton tampons i have switched over fully to organic products for my lady my lady time products so my tampons are organic my pads are organic um they didn't i normally get the honey pot um tampons but they did not have any at target like they didn't even have any pads so i just bought the this brand my cousin told me about this brand and a lot of other people have talked about this brand i bought these because i am going to be on my lady time when i leave for the trip so unfortunately i hate traveling when i'm on my cycle but i tracked it on that flow app to see when i would come on and it's literally like the day i leave so i just wanted to be prepared for that because i have plenty of pads but i needed tampons so yeah this is just all the stuff that i got from Target. you know when you go to Target, you spend a little money but you know it was definitely worth it and let's see what else i got oh i also bought these spandex shorts from target um i've already packed them i started putting things in my suitcase behind me but um they're they're just tight like compression shorts that i wanted to wear underneath my clothing um while i'm in houston because yeah, when I'm on my cycle, I like to make sure that I have... I always wear, like, some type of spandex shorts, and I needed some new ones. So, I've got these really nice ones. And they have, like, a little butt lift. Like, they have, like, a butt lift in the back, which I didn't notice until I tried them on. So, my booty gonna be looking real plumpity with the little shorts on. So, stay tuned for that. But, yeah. So, um, as you guys just saw, I, I went to Sephora. Sephora didn't have that one thing I wanted. They didn't have the Gloss Bomb by Rihanna the, in the color I wanted. They didn't have the Achillean Love um that rihanna wears that i wanted to try they didn't have the gucci guilty that i wanted to try because that was like the backup if they didn't have the achillean and so i'm just like you know what i'm not going to waste money on something i did not want just because they don't have what i have i'm going to be patient i'm just probably just going to look online and see what i can find online just order it because so far stay sold out of stuff like It'd be so annoying but i also went to one that's like very popular in dc it's like downtown like a busy touristy area so like even when they dropped the fenty beauty for the first time and i used to work downtown that sephora was always sold out so i don't even know why i went there i should have just went to the mall but it was in the city i didn't feel like traveling too far today so yeah but now we're gonna get into the the zara find yo i found some cute stuff at zara okay so zara's having a sale just so y'all know, Zara's having a sale. So I bought two shirts from Zara and I bought this super cute purse. I'm gonna save the, I'm gonna save the purse for last because it's just so cute. So I got this, I've been wanting this top from Zara. I don't know why I just never bought it before, but it's like a cropped sage color, high neck, razored crop top, super cute. It's like, this is like one of my favorite colors right now. So I'll, I don't know how I'm gonna style this just yet. I'm thinking like leather pants, a leather pant moment high-waisted moment definitely because i don't have the stomach to be showing my stomach right now but we getting there okay but yeah so this was 12.90 for this top this was regular price this wasn't even on sale that's just a regular price i also bought this and i i swore up and down i was not about to top on this shoulder pad trend y'all i swore up and down like i have broad shoulders i don't need to wear that blah blah, blah. 
but I can't help it. It's actually really cute. So I bought this super cute um, turtle turtleneck with the shoulder pads, brown top. It's so cute. Let me zip it so it can like give you the full effect. This was on sale for twenty dollars, and I was like, I have to get it. It's so cute. I could wear. I could dress it up. I could dress it down. Wear it with a skirt. Wear it with pants. And it's like the perfect shade of brown. I feel like it would match with like a lot of the neutral tones that I've been purchasing lately. So, yeah, super cute. And then lastly, I bought this cute two-handle like Sherpa-inspired bag from Zara. Look how cute this freaking bag is, guys. Like. First of all, first of all, it has an extra strap, so I can also wear cross body style if I want a black strap. It has a drawstring, so you can either loosen it or tighten it. So let's see what it looks like tightened. I could tighten it a little bit more. Oh my God, that's so cute. You can tighten it like that. And then it has a zipper on the inside. So it's a very secure bag. It's super soft, like, and it, it's just cute. I love this bag. So at first, when I first picked it up, I thought it was $50, right? I was like, oh my god, this bag is gonna be fifty dollars. Like, what? Say you're crazy, spend this money, but it's so cute, and you've been trying to upgrade your accessories. But y'all, this thing said twenty nine ninety nine, and it was cheaper than the other bags that I was thinking about getting. I'll put them. I I might insert them here for you guys so you can see the other bags I was looking because I really wanted a Sherpa bag that I felt like was offset like all my outfits that I'm wearing to Houston. So look what I got and it's so thick like I can fit a lot of stuff in here I can probably put my camera my wallet like everything it's so cute like it's so cute so I cannot wait to and you can open it like this so this is how wide it gets if you open the ta the, um, the drawstring and then it's yeah it's so cute I can't wait to wear this purse but yeah this is just all the stuff I got today and yesterday this weekend just to get ready for my trip and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna end today here I will see you guys in a couple of days when I take you all to get my nails done with me and my hair done and all that stuff. I just got come tested. Back to work? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just got off work. Yeah. Was sick Thank you. Can I pick a color? Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. I'm gonna look over yeah. here. I don't know what color I want to put on my toes. Oh, thank you. I forgot I could look here. Let's see. Got it? Yep. So guys, I'm here at um, LT Nail Designs, which is Uptown DC. Um, I'll link them below for you guys. <sighs> I'm tired, I just got here from work. Um, I've been coming to this nail salon for a few years now. Before I moved to New York, this was like my nail place, and I used to always come to CT. He's probably taking a break right now, but we're just gonna sit here and wait for him. I don't even know why I just started looking at colors, because I already know what I want, and I don't need a color for that. Um, I'm thinking about doing French today, and French on my toes, which I've never done, so we'll see what T says, because he seems to like to object to things that he doesn't think is cute so so yeah i'm a little early for my appointment so i'm just gonna sit here and wait for tea and i'll show you guys tea when we get started <laughs> Everything I put in, I get right back Got long money, I ain't in it for a quick stack And if she ever had me bend, I don't know who she is Switch your size on me, just know that I know where you live And I ain't never had to bang, I'm good wherever I is And I got brothers, I done run it up and handle my bitch And I've been hot since a teen when they gave me the key To the city, fuck around and have to cry me the queen 
Say hi to my YouTube channel, T. Guys, this is my nail tech. I love him so much. He's the best. Thank you. If you come here, you have to come see T. But don't book my appointment, okay? He only has time for me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Call me. Because I'm icy, icy. Haters want to fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a white tee. Keep my hands clean. Got some hitters moving spicy. Ask me if I'm on the most Gucci, bitch. I might be as icy, icy. Haters want to fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a white tee. Keep my hands clean. Got some hitters moving spicy. Ask me if I'm on the most Gucci, bitch. I might be. Bougie when I'm broke, so I'm bougie when I'm poppin' I've been working, stock went up, check my price, then I text My education, line my fashion, gonna cost a couple bags Now I don't need a sugar daddy, they call me when they eat stacks See, I went to USC and got my college degree That mean I'm smarter than these niggas, can't get over on me And then I went down to Miami, saw some new property Put a down payment on condo with a view of South Beach Man, the devil try to break me, the devil try to play me I could've got here quicker if I let the devil swim me But my prayers went up and my blessings came down Thinking God every day that's your girl above ground And that's how I Hot girl do it, keep her head up, even when she going through it My crown might slip, but it never ever falls If my niggas ever need me, they know I am who to call Cause I'm icy, icy, haters wanna fight me Never been the one, get RP up on a white tee Keep my hands clean, got some hitters moving icy Ask me if I'm on the most Gucci, bitch, I might be It's very unlikely, my wrist ain't looking icy Charging by the minute, cause my time is very pricey Alright guys this is the last beauty maintenance of the week. I told you the last thing I was getting done was my hair. As you can see, look at all of this. It's get, it's becoming a lot to handle. And that's why I'm not wearing my real hair right now. But I'm here with one of my favorite people, Kenya. She laid that. I will link all of her information below. I've been seeing, going to Kenya for a few years before I moved to New York. I was going to get my hair done by her. So she used to do everything. My ponytails, my blowouts, my weaves, like literally everything. So I'm glad to be back in her chair. She has developed in such, such, such so many great ways, guys. Like her brand is amazing. So make sure you check out her page. But today's video is sponsored by the wig company that I got this wig from. So she's going to be installing this this closure wig for me I got from A Curl's Dream. And I also have their information li listed below. I'm not I'm not gonna show you guys. Well, I'll show it to you, cause might as well just show it to you. Sorry if I'm all over the place. Kenya's getting me prepped for blow dry. All this thick hair. My hair was not this thick when Kenya used to do my hair. It's gotten thicker. So this is the wig. It is a blonde, brownish bob. This is exactly what I wanted. I want I made her color it it came with clips she gave me like four clips on the inside a band I can adjust it so it's really cute I cannot wait to see this on y'all I tried it on at home and it's really cute so Kenya's gonna have to lay this down for me because I'm about to give a whole look but yeah I wanted to give a different vibe I don't really do a lot of light blondish hair so that's why I asked for blonde highlights um, so yeah I can't wait to see this but shout out to a curls dream for getting my custom unit together she has a lot of cool units on her page like she does a lot of natural hair units she has like clip-ins ponytails she also has merchandise if you guys pay attention i do wear like this crop um in my last video i had a crop shirt on that said curly or coily excuse me coily she has another one that says curly that's some of her merchandise as well so make sure you guys check it out and i have the code citizens for 15 percent off so Go ahead and get you a unit. It's winter time and we gotta protect our hair. So I'm gonna prop my camera up so Kenya can do my hair and we're just about to chat, okay? Bye guys.
Cause y'all know I can beat my things. So. Yeah, and I don't have. When no you have blonde, you kind of have to like be a little beat. Mm -hmm. I heard that somebody else said that when she did blonde, she felt like she had to put on a face because that hair, and she had like bleach blonde. Oh, okay, okay. And so it was like you, it was like really giving a look, and so she felt like she had to always have her. This is so. Look at look blonde at this guy. And burgundy. Oh yeah, my burgundy hair when I had that. Yeah, this is so cute. It's so cute. Shout it. out to a curls dream for this unit. Yes. I'm about to be in Texas giving looks. Yes. Okay. This is so cute. I'm excited. Yep. And just flat iron it. Make sure it looks good. I think it looks high for the guy right now. Yeah, it looks good. Because nice. she straightened it already. She it came like already straight. It probably waves up a little bit and it's wet but yeah i'm gonna wear it like this oh yeah i'm feeling this i really like that now 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 watch when i walk out of here how many people will be like <laughs> how you doing that's some new year's hair for real yes new new me new year new me just get up close thank you guys see and i was a quick client yeah Guys, you gotta come see Kenya. Yeah. She's that's the she's the bomb.com. And look at the salon, it's so cute in here. Let me do a little spin. <laughs> so this is where Kenya is now. The salon, it's so cute. I love the decor in here. And because of COVID, when you come see Kenya, it's just you and her. Yeah. It's not a bunch of people. They they're very COVID safe, so yeah. Oh, I can't wait to show y'all this look when I'm beat, baby. Oh my God. That was so cute. You gotta see it from the back. Oh no, the back is when she sent me the video of the back. I was like, the back looks so good. Like she sent me so many clips. I'm so excited. Okay, let me put my wig back on. I mean, my, my mask back on. <laughs> Hey citizens, so it's your girl Sid and I'm back. Um, as you guys saw, I'm just getting my hair braided down so I could apply this a curls dream custom bob wig yes you girl wanted to invest in a really cute wig for her houston girls trip and so i just wanted to guys see like in a better lighting so you can see like the the blonde i got going on in the front and like the mixtures of colors browns and golden blondes in the back i absolutely love this a look like have, when have y'all ever seen me with some bright ass blonde like what i'm super super happy about this like you know tuck it behind my ear you know give it a little look definitely gonna be killing it with these looks in houston i'm wearing a lot of browns and tans and you know so i feel like this bar would like really pop it off oh god princess is in here i'm a little irritated with her right now so we're gonna ignore the dog um but I just finished packing all of my stuff for my trip. I would have showed you guys, but I was like all over the place and I didn't feel like wasting my film on that. So right now we're just gonna finish up the Batty on a Budget maintenance vlog with some waxing. You guys know I be, be waxing, okay? I be out here, you know, waxing my lips and my underarms. 
But this time we're only gonna do our lip because I already um, did my underarms, I shaved them. I just really, they were really thick and I just didn't have time to deal with the wax and me trying to get it right. So next time I do another maintenance vlog, I will show you guys how I've updated my wax routine. Um, but right now we're just focusing on je, je lip, okay? Je lip. So I've already um, heated up my wax. I'm actually about to turn it up a little bit so I can get a little bit more thinner. I thought I was going to need more wax, but no, this should be enough. So, yeah, I'm just going to let this heat up a little bit. And then I am in love with this, y'all. You guys want a unit by a curl's dream? I will have the link below. Use the code CITIZENS for 15% off. This is super freaking cute. Like, I love it. I didn't know if I was going to like me with, like, a blonde, but I like this. Like, hey, y'all. I heard blondes have more fun. <laughs> this is so cute. And you guys want to know like why the angle in my bathroom looks different. So I actually have my camera stand like tripod on top of the paper towel stand thing. I kind of like this angle. I might have to start doing this more often, but only if the paper towels are like new because it's like a new fat roll. That's why I'm able to stand the camera on top of it. But let's hope my mama don't come see me doing this. But yes, I like this angle, this lighting. Like what? I'm about to start filming over here. The lighting's better on this side. Yes. Whew. So yeah, we're about to get into this wax real quick. And then I'm going to eat and go to bed. Because I haven't eaten all day. Like I literally only ate oatmeal today. So I've been fasting all week. So I, I, I cannot eat fried food, sugars, bread, um, meat, only seafood. And so like literally i've been doing really good today i kind of fell off because i didn't eat lunch but i'm about to go downstairs and eat some some vegetables some rice and some shrimp that my mom made and take a shower and get ready for bed because i'm tired and i have to get up at four in the morning well i have to be up earlier than that so i can leave out by like 4 30 to get to the airport to get through security to get my flight my flight leaves at like 6 55 so yeah i'm gonna be tired in the morning but it's cool it's cool because I'm about to have a bomb time in Houston with my girls. And y'all stay tuned because I'm going to be filming and vlogging while we're in Houston. So stay tuned for a girls trip Houston vlog. This is my first time in Texas. So I'm super, super excited. But let's get into this wax. this wax be hot okay hot hot daddy hot <laughs> y'all know where that's from comment below <laughs> yeah i'm so fucking goofy like i love to laugh that shit is fun Okay, so I have it on, made me like a nice little thick strip or whatever. Yeah, I I just had to do it, y'all. My whiskers done grew back and I just can't do it. Like, cause I feel like when I do my makeup, I be seeing them through the makeup and it's just annoying. So like, if I'm about to be a baddie in Houston, what? I can't have no whiskers, what? Okay, so we have to wax the lip. Now I've gotten my lip threaded before, like two times. And the first time wasn't bad. The first time it did hurt. I could hear them. I could, like the thing about threading I don't like is like you can hear the string and it just, it creeps me out. Like you can hear it when they like roll it. But the second time I got it done, my entire lip broke out. It was red, it was bumps, it was so irritated. Like I, I couldn't even really put on lip gloss for like a few days. I had to like put some like Neosporin stuff on it because my lip was really irritated. So that's when I decided I would never thread my lip again. That I would just, if I got me a little wax kit and here I am. So if you guys have like whiskers and like little hairs on top of your lip, it's very normal for females to have hair on their lip. Now when they have full blown mustaches and beards, now that's a little much. But um, we all have a little bit of hair on the lip. I, you know, some people keep it like for a long time. I used to just leave it alone, but now 
I just don't like it. I don't want it there. I, it has to go. So this is me getting rid of my own hair. So it's pretty dry. As you can see, it got like really hard. And so I'm just going to go ahead and rip it off from the side that I first started on because it's probably the hardest. And then I'll come over here. So, okay. One, two. Let me get a little, let me make sure I have a good grip. One, two, three. Whoo! So one side. Hmm. It's a pretty good rip. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the hairs on it. It's not like, oh, there, you can see some of them right there. Yeah, that was a good one. Let's get the other side. One, two, whoo! Okay. I like to do two passes, so I'm going to do it again, but it's a complete difference. Like, look how good my lip looks. What? Get them whiskers right off, baby. Y'all better go ahead and get y'all a little wax kit, okay? Daddy on a budget. Because this would have been, I don't know, in New York, I think it was like 6 $8 for your lip, something like that. I don't know how much they charge you here to get your lip wax, but save some money do it yourself and it, i kind of like this stuff like now waxing my own lady parts i'm still gonna pay to get that done i just don't have the strength but i'll do my underarms and i'll do my lip like oh my lip feels so good when i'm done i'm gonna probably wash my face and put some facial oil on here so this girl can you know i don't have no marks or breakouts but last time i waxed my lip i didn't break out so this wax is pretty safe if you guys break out easily i would read the ingredients before buying it because this wax came with the wax kit like with the wax heater bowl whatever some of them i think you have to buy the wax separately so if you have like sensitive skin like don't buy the wax with your thing do your research get a wax um, burner and then buy the wax that's good for your skin It be these wax strings like it's this shit is so annoying uh, all right last pass let it dry and we're gonna be done with the lip and then i'm about to be ending the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed coming with me you know to get all my maintenance done from wax to nails to feet to hair and please if you guys live in the dmv area please check out all of the places that i went to my nail guy t He's uptown. My my hairstylist Kenya. Absolutely love her. Now she is, you gotta get on her books, but she's worth the wait because this can slay some hair. And my new wax lady Tyra. Like I really like I really bang with her. Like that was my first time going to get waxed. And me and her like literally had the best conversation while she was waxing me. She made me feel super comfortable. I wasn't uncomfortable. I mean, granted, I've been getting waxed for a few years, like over three years now. But still, like, you know, it was your first time going to a new waxer. It can always be a little, you know, uneasy. But she was great. She was super sweet. She's even a citizen now. Like, she joined the city like you guys should do. And she subscribed to my YouTube channel. So I'm definitely going to go back to her. Because my wax, like, this is, like, one of the best waxes i've had in a long time like, i can tell that these results are gonna be so fire like it's gonna last a long time but just because of how it still like looks like i was going to some like little ringy ding places in new york just because i was trying to save money at the time and those waxes will grow start growing back within a week i can tell this wax will not start growing back with it like a while i can just tell like she clearly knows what she's doing she made me feel comfortable it didn't hurt like that so definitely going back to um studio chic and seeing tyra and they have a lot of other services that i'm interested in trying so that might be my play show they they're right down the street from my house so but yeah let's go ahead and rip this lip so i can go eat and be outie one two whoo baby yep looks good i might clean up a little bit on the sides but we're gonna end the vlog here. It's your girl C. 
said thank you for joining my city i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know what are some of your favorite beauty maintenances to get done um whether that be lashes hair nails you name it what do you do how frequently do you do it? and where do you go like if you live in dc maryland virginia area like let me know but i'm about to go eat because i'm starving and get ready for bed because i have to go to houston tomorrow and i'm so excited so check y'all later love ya bye